What is going on gamers? I'm Acro and there should be a new character that has been drip marketed. I haven't refreshed yet. Last night we got uh, Fei Zhao and she looks really awesome. I might pull for her. We gotta see. Is there someone else who's gonna draw my attention or not? Let's see. I hit that refresh button real quick. Ling Sha. Oh, ho, ho. oh my goodness. Showing a bit of skin here, are we? Hmm. Oh. Immediately not getting, unless she has some sort of really good supportive capabilities, but I mean she's a abundance character, which I already have Fu Xuan and I have Hua Hua. So I do not need another healer or anything like that. I also have Gallagher, which I've been using a lot more. Extraterrestrial satellite communication. Lingsha. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know Mandarin. I am a Vidyahara. Okay. So she's like one of Dan Hung versus her horns and stuff though, right? Born and raised on the Lofu. And I once studied the healing arts under the name of Danju. Okay, that name did sound familiar. It's this lady. The one that, like, t kind of turns evil because she's, like, yeah, part of the Sanctus Medicus. Oh my god, there's this S and a freaking Z. Okay, different person, different person. But my master became bogged down in politics and was banished to a place far from home. I followed her there. Now that I've changed my name and come home, many complicated feelings have returned. The new cauldron master of the Dianjo Lofu's Alchemy Commission. An intelligent and quick-witted Vidyahara healer. She has a sharp sense of smell and often uses this to diagnose illnesses, as well as utilizing incense to calm the minds of others. She is adept at dealing with complicated social relationships. Though she might be fuming inside, her expressions would remain calm and serene. So looking at the design real quick, I mean she has these little bunny things around, maybe they're foxes, I don't know. They're kind of like a Pokemon. <laughs> she's also from the Lofu. I know um the last character, Fei Zhao, isn't from the Lofu. She's from the um Fei Zhao is from the Yao King, and um that's a place we haven't been before. We've only been uh to the Lofu. So this is a character that like existed on the Lofu that we just didn't meet before, I'm going to assume. Yeah, <laughs> fire up on it. Someone call Gallagher and let him know he's died again. Um I I guess, but like like really, I don't see a reason to get her. She's a five star fire abundance, and it's like if you are looking for a fire abundance, Gallagher does that. He does it really well. He can solo sustain. He's also very good with break teams as a support. He is the best support for break teams at that um, when it comes to sustain. So I don't know what her kit looks like. Um, I am a big leak looker, but I don't know what her kit looks like yet. So, she, But it's like she's coming out in the same patch that Fei Zhao is. And it's like, <laughs> are we really, are we really going to get her over Fei Zhao? It's like... Who's doing that? Maybe new players that need a five-star healer or like a good healer, they will, but I just don't see it. I do like her design a lot. I don't know why. I thought the, like the Vidyara had like horns or something, maybe a tail or something. Well, the tail is like the Foxians, but there's nothing here that like says, hey, I'm a Vidyara. Oh, her hands and feet. Okay. I didn't look at that. <laughs> I don't normally look at characters' feet, um, but yeah, I guess her feet kind of like fade into this red kind of like the scaly type of like thing same with her hands she also has this green stuff that is like kind of connected to her clothing i assume to kind of complement all the red in her character design looking at over here is she might also have some sort of hairpin in um i don't know if this is like for the background or it's part of her hair but she could have her hair be held up by this hairpin thing she also has like this little hairpin over here and she has pointy ears i don't know i'm just trying to see what like makes her a vidyara and not like a human yeah okay so he does have pointy ears too Nah, but she has pointy ears too. Okay. She also has this right here, like on her thigh. I don't know if that's like a marking or that is part of her like skin and it's like her Vidyara thing or whatever. I do like her design. Um, definitely very cute. But she has a really hard role to fill. I mean, just abundance. We have Natasha, Lynx, Locha, Bailu, Hoho, -Ho, and Gallagher. And like Gallagher can solo sustain, Hoho -Ho can solo sustain, Locha can solo sustain, Lynx can solo sustain, Bailu can solo sustain as long as you don't get um, debuffed. Just because she has no cleanse, it can be a bigger pain in the butt. And then if you look at our other sustain characters, which are preservation, I mean, we got, yeah, blah, 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 Trailblazer. Trailblazer, no one's solo sustain with Trailblazer. It can be done if you kill the enemies fast enough, but who's using that, right? But then we got Adventurine, Fu Xuan. Mm, Jabard can do it, I guess. Um, and March 7th, I don't really think she can. I mean, if, you, if you're running her on effect hit rate, she can maybe sustain a little bit longer, but it's the same thing as Fire Trailblazer where you're going to get whittled down, so you got to, like, destroy the enemies real fast. Just looking at these characters, I mean, she's going to have to compete with Japard, Lynx, Locha, Fushuan, Bailu, Hoho, Gallagher, and Adventurine. The, all of them can solo sustain, and they do it very well. 
So she's going to need something that sets her apart from the others, like Fushuen also gives crit rate. Hoho gives energy and an attack buff. Gallagher is the best unit for super break teams, which is a very popular team right now, and it's going to stay that way for, I assume, forever. I mean, super break, it doesn't look like it's going away anytime. Locha is very skill point positive. I mean, he's the most skill point positive one here. Adventurine is your number one pick for follow-up teams. And just listing all that off, it's like, who can she contest with? Like, what is she going to bring to the table? I know I saw one of the comments saying, oh great, a break support, um, but it's like Gallagher's already there, so even if she is a break support, which we don't know yet, why would you go for a 5-star when you have Gallagher who does it amazingly? Obviously, every character looks good in their cover. I wonder what her in-game model is going to look like. I think she'll look pretty good in-game too. I always like the cute pointy ears and the um, short hair with little long strands. I think Ron, Ron May has like that similar design. She her she reminds me of Ron May so much. Like they have that same, oh, what's going on here? But <laughs> they have the same design of like they have their hair tied up and then they have some flowing strands and stuff. I just like that. I like that design a lot. But even if I like her design a lot, uh... <laughs> She ain't gonna get picked up. I mean, if I were to, these are both 2.5 characters, which I don't think I'm gonna have enough to get either of the 2.5 characters because I'm going for a Shao Cho and 2.4. But if I were to, it's Face Shao and it's not even close. Like, I, I just don't see the reason to get Ling Sha. Are you really going to pull for a 5 star when you already have so many characters that can do it? Like, you, like just let's be real. Most people are going to have either a Depard, a Lynx, Locha, Fushuan, Bailu, Huoho, Gallagher, Adventurine. Like, easily you can have a Gallagher and Lynx because they're both four star characters. And people have probably before pulled on one of these other characters like Locha, Fushuan, or Huoho. I, I, I don't know. But I, I think I'm digging too deep into this of like, uh, what can she do? Whereas a lot of people pull because they just want characters. That's what I did in Genshin. I pulled because I just wanted a character. And I do do that in Star Rail too. But I also think about. What is this character going to give me? Because there's times in Genshin where I pull the character and I just never used him. Like, I used him for a week or two and just never used him again. To close this off, final thoughts. She does have an amazing design. I really like it. I like all this stuff. Although I'm not a fan of the uh, <laughs> the Monster Girl stuff where she has, like, her kind of, like, her skin is slowly changing into, the, like, uh, a Vidyara, kind of like, I guess, a fish. It just gives me the heebie-jeebies, and I, don't, I can't put my finger on it. It's kind of like, what if they change into a, a fish person, right? <laughs> I really am interested in seeing her in-game model and seeing if all this green stuff is on her just because like she is very red and this green or red just go together so well that I, th I think it'll be on her. And of course, yeah, I don't see a reason for anyone to pull her unless you don't have two sustains because you only need two sustains. You can like you're going to have sustains that are good for certain teams. But at the end of the day, the goal of your sustain is to sustain. So if your sustain can solo sustain then it's really like, why are you pulling on them? So they can do some more supportive capabilities? Like, I, I don't know. I'd rather just go get another character that is a DPS. I don't know. I've been very lucky on my account, and it is very developed. I've been playing since day one, and um, I was really lucky. Even if I'm free to play, I have a lot of five stars. I have a lot of five star characters and light cones. Um, so my account just isn't in the need for another sustain ever, honestly. Um, because of the characters I have and the characters I've built. If there are new Star Rail players, um, then yeah, she might be a good pickup. Because yeah, even I've gone for five-star sustained characters like Fushuan and Huahua. It's like you're going to need sustained characters, but once you get them, you're not really going to need more. But people might also build because they just like her design or they like something about her, right? Other than that. <laughs> With that being said, gamers, I have not much more to say. If you're interested in more Honkai Star Rail content, I upload various Honkai Star Rail things. So make sure to subscribe for that. And if you like this video, make sure to like it. And I hope you have a good day or night. See ya.